uncursable because I'm blessed by God. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean I can do whatever I want and, and go scot free. I can bring trouble on myself. I can bring curses on myself. But remember this. God says I'm not cursing you. Where's my piece of cloth? But watch what God does. God says this is what I'm going to do. He says man, there is something you don't understand. And, and, and I, I, want, I want to show you that thing now. He says when you were coming into this world I gave you just two things. I want to say two things. I didn't give you three. I didn't give you. It, God didn't give you money when you were coming here. God didn't give you nothing. He, he just gave you two things. The first thing God gave to you are seeds. Somebody say seeds. seeds. One more time. Seeds. So God gives every human being that is coming here seeds because you need them. You need those seeds here. Now, what are the seeds he gives to us? Number one, he gives us the seeds of time. So every human being has time. You're supposed to sow time and then reap whatever it is you want. So you sow time and reap money. That's why you give your time to your boss and at the end of the month, your boss will give you some. You have sown the seed of time. You, you sow time into everything you want. You sow time into your business. You sow time into your ministry. You sow time into your marriage. You sow time. You always will have to sow time. Everything in this world costs time. Everything in this world needs time. It's very interesting whenever I hear the testimonies of people. You know, we, we just, we just I, I call the testimonies of Christians the dash testimony. You, you know, it's just like when you go to the graveyard, they just tell you, born 1937, died 2007. So it's 1937 dash 2007. That dash ha is really loaded. That's, that's, that's everything else you did. And, and so you see, the, our, our testimonies and I said, oh, praise the Lord. I was broke. I didn't have no money. And I was struggling. But today, look at me. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. But see, now, I want to know the details of what God did. I want to know what you did. I want to know what God did. I see, nothing just happened overnight. Nah. No, 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 no. See, it, it, it was a build up. You, you didn't get... High blood pressure just by going to bed and waking up. It's all the pound of soup. That's not what we are talking about tonight. All right, so everything takes time. Everything takes time. Everything takes time. It has taken 25 years for Apostle Jenny and Mama Rita to get here. I'm pretty sure the first years weren't that nice. I'm sure of that. I thank God it's not only one man that marries. Everyone would have said, which hell? <laughs> Every man is difficult. Every woman is difficult. Apart from Apostle Jenny and Mama Rita, I've never met any couple that don't have problems in their marriage. <laughs> Am I coming to a crowd? Am I helping somebody? Yeah. See, a perfect marriage is not determined by the number of good years you have enjoyed, yeah. but by the number of difficult years yeah. you have endured. Yeah. Takes time. Let's give time and go to the next seed. The next seed that God gives to you is the seed of effort. Everything needs effort. You are going to have to put in effort. You are going to have to put in effort. There is a poem that is written. It's called the Gratitude. We don't know who wrote it. But it says, heaven is not reached at a single bound. The height of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flies. But they, while their companions slept, were toiling upwards in the night. See, you need to put in some effort. You need to put in 
this away. It's not going to, it's not just going to happen. You need to put in the effort of prayer. You need to put in the effort of exercise. You need to put in the effort of hard work. You need to put in some effort. So when God made man, he said, till the ground. The beautiful thing about God is this, and I think Moses taught God this thing. God goes to Moses and says, Moses, come, I want to give ten commandments to my children. Moses climbs up the mountain, feeling all good, all swell, and then God taps out a stone tablet out of the rock, and then he writes on the ten commandments, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, and he gives to Moses. The Bible says when Moses was coming, he held the commandments in his hands. When he got down, he noticed Israel had broken one, and he broke all ten. <laughs> God looked at him and said, oh, that easy. Come up. Then he went up. Now God said, this time I'm sitting. You cut out the stone yourself. Put in some effort. It took him 40 days to cut out the stone. Bible says when he went down this time, he held it to his heart. I said, I cannot pray. <laughs> now it was precious. The reason why women, the men don't as respect you and don't value you is because, see, we get you too easy. So why should we value you? Why should I value you when, when I was dating your best friend, you were flirting with me. I mean, so you are giving me the impression women are not an essential commodity. I can get one anytime I want. So why should I value women? But if it costs you, see, there are two women that are very difficult to leave. One is a beautiful one. You, you can be so, I'm, this, I'm going to, I swear. <laughs> I'm leaving this one. The moment your doorbell rings, you open you. Why? You say you are coming at six. Look, it's two. Anyway, no problem. Let's go. Beautiful woman. Difficult to leave. The second woman that's difficult to leave is the one you have invested in. You paid for that house. You bought that car. You gave everything. You don't just get up and leave. It doesn't matter what she does. I don't like what you are doing. Though. One day you let me leave, but they don't leave. And leave your house and all the things. Effort. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. One of the things that I love so much about Royal House women is the effort they put in beautifying themselves. I observe. I mean, when, when, when the effort this church puts into beauty, when I got out, I mean, a friend of mine told me he was planning on getting married. I said to him, marry from Royal House. Your brawn, you will be 